Hey guys, today I'm excited to be installing a new 12 volt battery in my GMC Sierra EV. This is the OMU 12 volt battery. This is their LifePo 4 battery or LFP battery. They also offer a sodium ion battery as well. Uh, but I really like the LifePo 4 battery. It has a lot of benefits. It has a built-in BMS, so it is a direct drop-in replacement for your factory 12 volt battery, which is good. You don't have to mess around with any kind of additional things. You just literally swap the batteries. Um, but I'm a big fan of them. I actually have this type of battery in my Kia EV6 as well as my boat and it offers a lot of benefits. It's got more usable capacity than the regular battery. It has a much longer lifespan. It's a lot lighter and it's just an all around great battery. They've uh, really improved their quality over the years as well. So it's very well built um, and it should last a really long time. And it also has uh, a built in, I almost forgot to mention this, um, built in Bluetooth and self heating. And with the Bluetooth, um, it has an app that you can connect to and you can monitor a variety of things and you can also remotely disable um, or turn off uh, the charging and discharging of the 12 volt battery, which is a big benefit for GM based Ultium vehicles like the Sierra EV in that uh, sometimes you might get some error messages that pop up that are cleared by disconnecting the 12 volt battery for a few minutes. This way you can just do it in the app. You don't have to worry about getting under the hood and unhooking everything uh, and rehooking it back up. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the old battery out and we're going to weigh the two, see how they compare. Then we'll install the new one and I'll show you guys the app. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So we'll start by taking the cover off of the passenger side here. It just snaps in. Now down here is the high voltage battery disconnect. We'll want to make sure we disconnect that. So we'll pull the red tab and then we slide it back. And now you can see it says off from the green portion there. Now I'm going to fast forward through some of this. So this isn't a really long video, but I'll talk through what I'm doing with you guys. We'll go ahead and disconnect the negative side of the 12 volt battery and we'll unhook the connector on that wiring, pulling another red tab. Then we'll pull out the Christmas tree connector that holds the wiring in place on top here. Next, we'll take the cover off of the 12 volt battery and we'll move the negative terminal off to the side out of the way and we'll disconnect this connector and move it out of the way. Then we'll take off the positive side and set it off to the side here. Next, there is a strap that is bolted down on the passenger side, goes over the top of the battery, and then latches on the driver's side. So we'll take out the passenger side bolt, and we'll lift it up and take it out. Next, we'll remove the bolt that holds down the front portion of the battery, and we'll pull out that brace. And then next, we'll lift the battery out, being careful not to bang it into anything. It is really heavy, so be prepared for that. Now to weigh the factory battery, it's 50.8 pounds. Like I said, pretty heavy. Now for the OMU battery, it's 14.8 pounds. So it's 36 pounds lighter. That's pretty significant. And then now we'll just reinstall everything in the reverse order of taking it out. We'll put the new battery in, keeping the caps on the terminals for safety until we're ready to connect them. We'll bolt down the brace in the front. We'll install the brace over the top of the battery, latching it on the driver's side and bolting it down on the passenger side. Then we'll reconnect the connectors and the wiring. We'll put the cover back on. We'll install the negative side. Then lastly, we'll reconnect the high voltage battery. And then we install the cover.
All right, it is all done and installed and that installation wasn't too bad at all. Uh, I had more trouble with my S25 Ultra overheating than anything, unfortunately. Um, but the installation itself is very straightforward. Got in the truck, started right up fine. It did have to uh, relearn the tire pressure monitoring, so I did have to just go for a quick drive. Uh, it did have a warning indicator uh, on the dash, but uh, after I took it for a drive, it was able to read the PSI fine from all four tires and uh, turn the truck off, turn it back on, and the warning was gone. So uh, that's the only thing I noticed. It also reset my drive mode. Uh, I had it in my mode before, and it reset it back to normal. Um, and I put it back in uh, my drive mode, and uh, everything else is the same. All the audio settings are the same. Uh, all the accounts are in here fine. Um, there's no other issues. Um, the guy from OMU did let me know that the truck does have to relearn the windows. And um, when I started it up, he said to just roll the windows all the way down and then roll them all the way back up. Uh, so I did do that, um, but I haven't had uh, any issues. Um, the battery is charging fine. I pulled up the app and was able to see there's no errors. It's charging fine uh, and it's working uh, well. So uh, I'm happy with it. I think this is definitely a worthwhile uh, investment for your truck, uh, something that should last you a really long time and provide some uh, significant benefits and peace of mind for you. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of the OMU battery uh, in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions about it. They do have them for a variety of vehicles, um, including the GM vehicles, all the eGMP vehicles from Hyundai, Kia, all of them, Fords, lots of vehicles. Um, but I'll post a link in the description for you guys uh, for this battery, as well as just for their website, as well as my promo code Tech Jeff, which can save you 5%. Um, but yeah, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I got a lot on the way and I will see you guys in the next video.